Let's look at how to get a default animation instance for your animations in SwiftUI. The flipping effect you see here uses default animation. In SwiftUI, there are two ways to add animations to your views. You can use the global function with animation, or you can use the animation modifier. With any of these approaches, you can add a default animation. So what is the default animation? When you use the global function with animation to add an animation to a SwiftUI view, without specifying any easing function. The animation uses Spring Animation with parameters Response, Damping Fraction, and Blend Duration with all these values you see here. Before iOS 17, as stated here, the default animation was Ease In Out. But from iOS 17, the default animation is the Spring Animation you see here with the values. By adding a default animation to your views, you do not need to care about any parameters or how to adjust the timing or anything. In this video, we look at how to get the default animation instance when using with animation. I will make another video when using the animation modifier. So let's go back to Xcode and add the default animation. I will click the ellipses to expand the struct. Over here, I will define this state and specify the initial state of the animation. So we have the variable flip angle. So our intention in this animation is to click the flip button to flip the word hello. As I said before, we are going to use the global function with animation. So inside the body of the button, let's add with animation. Once we embed the final animation state using with animation, we get the default animation I showed earlier. That is the spring animation with default values. So let's bring the variable we define here, flip angle. Then over here, we will check to see if flip angle is equal to zero. I will use a comparison operator and dot zero. We will check this along with ternary conditional operation. So I will bring a question mark here. When flip angle is zero, we set the angle of rotation to one complete revolution, which is 360. Otherwise, we set it to zero. If I tap the button, we don't see any flipping effect. To do that, we are going to use 3D rotation by attaching the 3D rotation modifier. First, we need to specify the angle of rotation, that is in degrees. You can also use radians. With the angle of rotation, we are going to use the state variable. Next, we specify the axis. We want to rotate the text only on the x-axis, so let's put a value of 1. Then we can set the other ones to 0. You can now see we are rotating the text only on the x-axis. If you want to rotate it on the y axis, we can set x to 0, then we set this to 1. Or we can choose to rotate it on z, so let's set this to 0 and the z coordinate to 1. So you can see over here by adding the final animation state in with animation, we didn't specify any animation easing. In the next video, I will show you how to get the default animation instance when using the animation modifier. Thanks for watching.